It is match day, Stenhouse Muir versus Sterling Albion in Scottish League 2, the fourth tier. As you can see, the game has kicked off here and it's a beautiful day now. Right, the game is still meant to be going on here, but it's been stopped for this head injury for a long time. This one could be curtains, I reckon. Yes, look, the artificial surface has been deemed too hard and unsuitable for play. That is uh, the last we'll see of uh, Ockleby Park for, I guess, a few weeks. As you may or may not have seen in the news lately, football in Scotland has pretty much been cancelled, with the exception of Premiership and Championship, so Tiers 1 and 2, League 1, League 2, the Lowland League, the Highland League, the Scottish Cup, and everything kind of below that has all been completely binned until at least February, with ongoing talks and whether even that is when it will continue. These are strange times. Yes, I can come out and film, but opportunities right now for vloggers like myself who want to, you know, report on Scottish football are very limited. No clubs really want to let me in and take a look around, which is understandable. And uh, yeah, a lot of my games have been cancelled for this month as well. God, look how wintry some of my videos have been lately. I mean, spring is just around the corner and I hope the weather does start to improve. But yes, it's very snowy. I feel a bit sorry for Falkirk, who are a club who uh, can no longer play at the moment because their league is obviously shut. I mentioned that earlier. Yeah, I mean, Falkirk at a massive stadium like this, professional club, you know, aren't allowed to play, whereas semi-pro Alloa, bottom of the championship, can. A much smaller ground, I mean, at least some football is on, but I do think the fact that teams like Falkirk and Partick Thistle especially can't play is just absolute madness for them. Oh, look at that, I've got my sunnies on, I've had a lockdown haircut, and uh, the football's restarting here in Scotland for no illegal levels, things are looking up. It's felt like a long winter with frostbitten hands outside of Fir, New Douglas and Capelo Parks, but yeah, finally today, it looks like spring is kinda here, and uh, yeah, football is restarting again. I'm at my first match, my, only my second match this year, my first match since the 2nd of January. Dumbarton versus Forfa, let's do it. I've been up Dumbarton Castle before, I've been inside the stadium as well for a stadium tour, but I'm yet to see a game there, which is what I'm doing today. But yeah, let me just sit down on this lovely bench, look at the water there. I'm gonna run through the stats of the game of the two teams, and then uh, yeah, get inside the stadium. But firstly, look at this. You obviously have to wear a mask most of the time when you're inside the stadiums. That's what the COVID protocols say anyway. And look, here's the Dumbarton mask I got when I did my stadium tour here. And uh, yeah, it was one of the last stadiums I actually went inside. I obviously went inside uh, Troon just recently, but the last one that was like fully arranged and. Uh, and I was able to like get into and have a look inside, change rooms, all that kind of stuff, trophies. It was Dumbarton. Anyway, yeah, as you can see on screen just now, it's one football today, sponsor of this video. And look, there they are, Dumbarton. You can see there on screen right now is uh, their badge with the elephant on, which I absolutely love. But yeah, look at that. Today they're playing four for Athletic in an hour's 20 time. See, I'm here slightly early. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at the table to see how both teams are getting on this season. But yeah, look, as we look into the table there, Falkirk and Partick Thistle will jump out at you as two of the biggest teams. But look, the two teams that we're seeing today, Dumbarton and Forfa, are right down there, battling it out in the relegation places. Look, Dumbarton just one place ahead of Clyde, who are in the relegation playoff places, and Forfa are completely bottom, who are, yeah, looking likely to go down. But look, it's hard to say who's going to go down, who's going to stay up at the moment, because no one's played in so long. Look, you can see oh, Clyde there in ninth. have only played eight games, while others have played 11. So, yeah, they're really cramming the fixtures in. Um, from now till the end of the season. But yeah, look, that's where the two teams are today, eighth and 10th. So quite a lot like riding on this one. If Dumbarton can win, it lifts them out of that kind of relegation area. But four for need to win to keep in touch and distance of the Clydes and the Dumbartons and the Peterheads. So it should be an interesting game. <laughs>
Here I am, pitch side, the players are warming up. I cannot believe it. Look, I'm finally back at the football match. Where I'm sitting up there, where all those people are, that's kind of the media press area. And look at the like hills and stuff over there. There's mountains further up there. There's the town through there. And look at all the players training just there. But yeah, important to remember that Dumbarton won the first two Scottish leagues there ever were in Scotland, obviously in Scotland. But yeah, they won the first two editions of the Scottish Football League. They shared one with Rangers and they won the second one outright. And uh, yeah, prestigious club here. They do now play in League One, of course, as I showed you earlier. But yeah, they have won two league titles. And here they are, the mighty Dumbarton. They've also won um, the second tier, third tier, and fourth tier. Along with Rangers, the only club to do that. They won the top, second, third, and fourth tier in Scotland. Enjoy the rest of these shots, and I'll see you once the game kicks off. Look at this, I want to experience the moment together that the football starts. Ref's about to blow the whistle. There we go. The football has restarted in my life. I'm so buzzing. Right, there we go. There's Andy Munro, formerly of Stenhouse Muir. League One has kicked off again. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. Look, football's restarting and there's going to be more coming. There's a foul already. That's what you love about Scottish football. The physicality, absolutely love it. Let's hope for a good game. And look, if you want to get a uh, SPFL official match day ball, then just come to Dunbarton at like one minute past three on a Saturday because, uh, yeah, numerous balls get kicked over this quite small fence. Bit of a wild tackle there, mistimed, went kind of over the ball. One of them where, you know, if the legs planted in the wrong way, could have had a bad injury or something. Seen them given as red before, hence the uh, the reaction from the Dumbarton bench and players didn't quite catch the tackle on camera. But yeah, as I explained it, went over the ball a little bit. Yellow card, second of the game. Quite a feisty game this, getting towards the end of the second half here. Can Dumbarton go one new up at home in their first game back in the first half? Fuming. <laughs> he's about three yards away. And he's blocked it. And he's getting the throw. <laughs> oh, Don Barton, a fuming. Bad news, it's half time and uh yeah, I got an email before the game about like the COVID protocols and stuff, and I was told that there are no refreshments at this game today no hospitality obviously i've had pies at cumberland old colts and kelty hearts bovril i've had soup at gala fairy dean rovers but you don't think i'd come all this way without provisions without sustenance do you 
Kit Kat Chunkies are absolutely legendary. I used to buy them in Morrison's in bulk, sell them at school. And now I'm here eating one at Dumbarton v Forfa. It's come full circle. Absolutely love it. See you in the second half. <laughs> I wish I got that all on camera. That kicked a right off. They were claiming just then that someone got hit in the face. I think they're saying it was Andy Munro. That's who was down with the big uh, Dumbarton striker there. And uh, they were, oh, the keeper just kicked against his own defender. Oh my God, it's gone in. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is the most calamitous goal you will ever see. Off I go one nil up. And the keeper has kicked it off his own defender and it's gone in. A huge goal for Forfa. Right, literally they were fighting here and then... They were fighting on the ground and then literally, within a few seconds, the keeper gives it away once and then he kicks it against his own man and Forfa ahead. I actually can't quite believe that, that was mental. Dunbarton have got to try and get back into this one now. That is one of those freakish goals that you see once in a while. And it's broken the deadlock here, it's four for go forward again. <laughs> There's been more free kicks in this game than any match I can remember. Like I say, it's been a feisty one, this. <gasps> Ooh. Keeper redeems himself with a good save. Free kick of the game. Here we go. Cheers, see you later. 
Han Solo, look, with Dumbarton Rock up behind me. I hope you can see it. And the Dumbarton Stadium there. Yeah, I've now completed the Dumbarton hat trick. A vid from outside, a video of it like a stadium tour and a game. And uh, actually, for a 1 0, it was actually a really good game. It really could have gone either way. And the, um, the goal was just like an absolute fluke, an absolute freak. That was his debut, that keeper. Yeah, and. Um, a debut that he's going to want to shake off but look there were enough positives there they did play well but um as i may have mentioned when i was in there if i've included the clip in the video that both teams just seemed rusty they were wayward passes the keeper's kicking was yeah pretty poor to be honest but it's just one of those games where maybe he needs a few matches in the team to get used to his new teammates and playing under the famous rock of dumbarton but yeah um it's a strange end to the season for this league they'd usually be playing 36 games um in these divisions as a championship league one and league two but since league one and league two have been suspended for so long there's not enough time to cram those games in so the clubs have voted here we go look that's where we did our little intro earlier on fair play and um yeah the clubs voted to do a i think it's 22 game season so yeah it's a lot shorter than normal but um look at least they're going to be able to you know play out their own fates in a way and yeah if you're on a, if you're a dumbarton fan i guess you might be watching this then uh, Dumbarton do do all the streaming like all clubs do these days. They've got uh, commentators there at the ground. And uh, yeah, you can watch the games live if you uh, go on the Dumbarton website. So I'll include a link to a website or if you go on their Twitter or whatever, I'm sure it's easy to find. You'll just Google like Dumbarton live streaming or something. You'll be able to find it. But yeah, absolutely buzzing. I've been to a game again. Like, as you guys know, I love football. I love going inside stadiums. I love those videos where I get to check out trophies and go in and stuff like that. But really, really, nothing beats, you know, a match day. Especially one between two teams I've never seen play before. I really hope you fans out there watching can get back with us soon. And look at this lovely little residential street here in Dumbarton near the stadium. Hopefully I can come back soon for another game. They've got about six out of their first seven home games, uh, six out of their first seven games back from the break are at home. So yeah, hopefully I'll be going to a few more. And there's just a few things I need you to do before I leave you today and before you leave me and go and watch something else. So please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe if you aren't already. Look, I've just been to a game. That means there's more coming up as well as the usual history stadium tour videos as well. Please also do download one football. I showed you it at the start of the video when we were looking at the stats of the two teams. It really is good, it's extensive and can show you stats on pretty much any any team in the world from any league and uh, yeah you can get information on teams form all that kind of stuff please do also continue watching by uh, clicking on one of the videos that's on screen just now I'll also leave a playlist on screen I'm gonna leave my match days playlist there, so you can go walk back and watch some of the matches that I've been to for this channel thank you so much for watching my first game back since early January I really do appreciate you being here and enjoying it with me thanks again and I'll see you in the next one